Hey guys, how are you? It's Layla here and today I'm going to be recreating a really simple, elegant, um, low bun. This kind of look is really, really in right now. I'm seeing it everywhere and uh, I saw it a few weeks ago on Kelly Ripa, live with Ridges and Kelly, the talk show. And it looked so beautiful on her and so elegant, so I said I have to recreate it for you guys even though it's really, really simple. So if you want to know how to recreate it, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so I'm starting off with my hair being second day hair. So it's not freshly washed today and as such it's kind of lacking uh, you know a bit of volume and it's kind of nothing special so I always turn to hairstyles like this one on days that I want to prolong washing my hair because it's definitely healthier for your hair not to be washed every day so I'll tell you what we're gonna need we're just gonna need a regular brush a rat tail comb lots of bobby pins um, an elastic band and also this little donut shaped um, chignon that I got from a beauty supply store and I know Sally's also has them, Sally Beauty Supply Stores, um, which you can also create by um, cutting up the toe area of a sock and rolling it up. And uh, there's also another way to do this bun without using this and if you guys want to know how I do that, let me know in the comments below and I'll create another tutorial for you guys doing this type of bun without using this. But for today we're going to use this. This is just faster and easier. And uh, let's begin. So I'm going to start off like always to just brush my hair. Right, once the hair is all brushed through, I'm going to create the parting. And you can certainly do it uh, with a middle parting, which will be a very pretty look as well. And again, very elegant too. But for me, I'm going to do a uh, deep side parting for today. So to create the parting, I'm just going to bring my hair back. And then using the end side of the rat tail comb, I usually go uh, with um, where my arch of the eyebrow is I just kind of drag it up from there so I'm gonna brush the hair really nicely to make sure that it's it's like a sleek ponytail to begin with then I'm gonna grab my elastic band and I'll turn around in a second so you guys can see what I'm doing so you want to just put your hair into a ponytail all the way at the nape of your neck so once we have the hair in the ponytail, we're going to grab this um, chignon and what you want to do is just bring the ponytail through the hole. So I'll show you. I'm going to turn around for this part. So just like this. And then what you want to do is fan out the hair all around of the chignon to cover it up. So you want to just make sure that you're distributing the hair evenly and that none of the, the that you're not going to have any parts that are going to show through so you just want to kind of fan out the hair all the way around and then when you're happy with um, kind of where the hair is so this is basically how the bun is going to be you want to start to hide the hair underneath of the bun I mean of this of the bun that you just created. So what I'm doing is with my fingers I'm kind of starting to tuck in the hair underneath of the bun and again you can fix the parts that are um, might be showing through. So what we're doing is just hiding the hair underneath just like this and as you're going through you want to just fix up the portions that you feel might be showing just like this. So as you can tell, I'm just tucking in all of the hair underneath of the chignon. <coughs> so and then when you have the ends, again, you're just tucking them under, just to hide them underneath. So once we have all the hair tucked in underneath of the bun, what we want to do is just secure this in place lot, with lots of bobby pins. So I'm going to show you with one. So what I'm doing is I'm just opening up the bobby pin like this. And then what you do is you kind of just push the bun against your head and then you want to attach um, the hair from the bun onto the hair that's like on your head. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing in this bobby pin inwards. So there's one and then we're going to do that and just go all the way around the bun and secure the entire bun to make sure that it's in place and not going anywhere.
So once you set the hairstyle in place with hairspray, the look is complete and I'll just turn around so you guys can see what it looks like from all sides. So this is definitely one of my favorite looks to wear because it's elegant, it's pretty, it could be used for you know an office, you can wear it to school, anything you want really, it's really really easy and simple and uh, I hope you guys like this look and let me know in the comments below if you want me to recreate um, this type of bun without using the chignon and uh, I'll definitely do that for you guys. So I hope you're having a great day so far and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!